Hey everyone, Alpha Eagle here again. Welcome back to my channel. I pray you're all doing well, and may God bless you all. One of my viewers suggested that I make more positive videos and perhaps highlight some of my favorite YouTubers. So that's what this video will be about today. But before we get to that, I wanted to share some of my Twitter slash X badges of honor. Long viewers of mine will know that I've made several videos criticizing the members of the Fandom Initiative. For those of you who don't know, the Fandom Initiative are a bunch of commies who claim to be ambassadors of fandom, when in actuality they are gatekeepers and cancel pigs who try to keep people they hate, specifically straight white Christian conservative men, out of the fandom. And they try to deplatform them, usually by lying about us and calling us the usual names of ists and phobes. I was recently blocked by GM Morgan, who claims to be the imaginary gender of non-binary, and I was even blocked by their leader, the actual racist, commie, fascist, bigot, actual fandom. They blocked me because I tell the truth and they deny reality, since it conflicts with their warped world view. And in other Twitter slash X fandom initiative news, organized chaos came out as gay. Perhaps that's why his wife left him, but that's just speculation on my part. But I'm sure he'll claim that he's not gay, even though he has dated biological men. That makes him gay. Not that there's anything right with that, I just found it funny. Anyway, as I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted to promote another YouTube channel. A while back, I made a video titled, Nerdette, The Hard Bastard, and Anna Kasparian. And in this video, I said that my second favorite YouTube channel was The Hard Bastard. Nerdette actually did a stream in which she responded to my video titled, Ethan Van Skyver Loves Barbie, I've Been Exposed Again, Drum All Around. Your reaction to Hard Bastard's channel is priceless. Take a listen. Person has no content. None. What? I'm Tristan, HP's content is a little too spicy for YouTube, so he deletes his live streams immediately after they are done, so you have to sub to him, ring the bell for notifications, and wait to be notified when he goes live, which is usually every other day around 6.30. Or, alternatively, you can look for his archive, which are on other video sharing websites. What? I mean, do you, does anybody, this makes me a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck is that playlist name? What the fuck is that playlist name? Oh my god. What the fuck? Uh, used to be very political. I, and I do remember that they would like cover news of the day, but I don't see any content. Three months ago, maybe they don't make content anymore. What's that say? Yeah, no, you saw that. No, 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 girl. I know you saw that. This does not make me believe that they probably made very good content. I'm just putting it out there, right? Holy fuck balls. Given the name of this playlist, he doesn't seem like a guy I'd watch. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's pretty obvious. I think, um, why? Okay, here's the thing. I have actually a couple playlists besides my own videos. I have a couple playlists that are public. Not a single one of them says anything with the n-word in it just just putting that out there just putting that out there <laughs> her, her reaction to his playlist is hilarious first his playlist begins with the letter p so how can you say it has the n-word in it what n-word are you talking about exactly <laughs> i have no idea what she's talking about <laughs> and again his playlist begins with p i don't see an n-word so what are you talking about tristan Anyway, HP recently made a new channel called the HNN IRL Music. This is the official channel of the HNN IRL Music Very Serious Business Company. And if you like satirical music videos commenting on news and politics, I highly recommend this channel. Well, what HP has done with this channel is that he makes music videos using AI technology. All the songs are bangers, and they all slap as kids say today. Now. Just as a fair warning, many of the songs use gamer words and are definitely not safe for work. Now, my personal favorite is a song titled, I Beg You Please. The song is very powerful and asks that we not use offensive language that might hurt the feelings of others. However, since that song isn't very YouTube friendly, I have chosen a different song to highlight. This song is titled, Donkey Teeth, about the lovely congresswoman AOC. I made a music video to go along with this song, which I'll play for you now. I hope you enjoy it. All right, all right, listen, all right, listen, listen, okay, listen. I'm retarded. I 
over it. She wants to kill babies, but she's still beautiful. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Look at that booty on AOC. That's my favorite big booty Latina. I did not know if I was going to make it to the end of that day alive. Terribly in fear for her life, until somebody pointed out that AOC's office is not actually in the U.S. Capitol building, but in the Capitol offices building next door, which was not under siege. Andrea Ocasio-Cortez was seen in these viral photos crying and looking sad, but it was a weird photos emerged showing her looking, they, they, they showed the full frame and you can see it was just like a road and it was facetiously referred to as just a parking lot. I am told this is a garbage disposal. It is terrifying. I don't know what to use it for or what its purpose is. for this video. I'm Alpha Eagle. God bless you for watching. God bless America. And I pray that HB continues with the great work.